Will monthly stimulus checks interfere, reduce, or possibly even cancel Social Security, Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, SSI, VA, and RRB benefits? Let's talk through it. But hey, everybody, welcome, and thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't done so already, or if you happen to be new here, please make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video, as I am your one and only daily advocate right here on YouTube. I'm back every day to keep you updated, answer your questions, and do whatever I possibly can to be here for you and help you out through this time. Thank you so much for your support. Let's talk through this. So this is a concern and a question that I've been getting many, many times down in the comments section, literally since I started making these videos way back in April of 2020. Many people are receiving these benefits that I talked about, Social Security, SSDI, SSI, have been reaching out to me saying, hey, I love the stimulus checks, but I'm concerned that it's going to reduce, interfere, or possibly even cancel my benefits. Can you give me some information? Good questions and absolutely valid concerns. I get what you're saying. Now that we know about the first three stimulus checks, they had no impact on benefits. However, now we're potentially looking at recurring monthly stimulus checks. Now that we have these couple proposals on the table right now for monthly stimulus checks, including $2,000 stimulus check plus a $1,000 monthly stimulus check thereafter, and a $2,000 stimulus check plus $2,000 stimulus checks monthly thereafter. Well, Again, I continue to have many questions down below saying, this sounds great. I love the idea of some monthly stimulus checks. This sounds amazing. This would certainly help me out right now. But once again, I'm receiving SSDI or SSI or VA benefits, and I'm a little bit afraid that this monthly stimulus check is possibly going to interfere, reduce, or possibly even cancel my benefits. Can you give me a little bit of information? Again, I completely understand your concern, which is why I'm making this video, and I hope this helps you out a little bit. Let's talk through this one bit at a time. So first off, let's talk about what we do know about the stimulus checks, and then let's talk about what we can anticipate with these monthly recurring stimulus checks. All right, so one at a time here. What do we know about the stimulus checks? First off, it was announced right away last year, way back in April, when they first approved the $1,200 stimulus check. And what they said is the stimulus checks are not counted as income, they're not counted as resources, and they are not taxable. It is a, uh, it's an advance on a refundable tax credit. So, really good. So, one thing is um, also that they mentioned is they said it will not be counted as resources for 12 months. The 12-month thing is very important. Now, how they determine the 12-month thing, honestly, I'm not really sure. Do they look at your account and say, okay, it hit your account on, for example, April 15th, and we're gonna give you 12 months from then to make sure that you spend it within that period of time. I'm not really sure. And another question is, are they actually like, auditing accounts to make sure that people actually spend it. Honestly, I don't really know if they're doing that or not. I haven't seen any evidence saying that they're auditing accounts and making sure that people actually spend it. You know, but I guess if you're going back and they're reviewing your account and they see like, hey, you actually have more resources than you're supposed to, then I guess it could be a little bit of a sticky situation, right? But until then, I think, you know, they would have to review your account, I think, until they actually see it. Anyway, so that's what we know about the stimulus checks. Not included as income, not resources, and they are not taxable. So we know that and we know that the first three stimulus checks, the 1200, the 600, and the 1400 have had absolutely zero impact on all of these other benefits. You continue to get your regular monthly benefits, whatever that is, whether it's social security retirement, maybe SSDI benefits, survivors, maybe SSI, VA, whatever it happens to be, you continue to get your benefits with no further pause or no delays, and then you get your stimulus check, you know, <laughs> whenever you actually get it, right? We know how that goes. Some of you, it takes a long time for distribution, which is really sad. However, now let's talk about what we can anticipate if slash when monthly stimulus checks are actually approved and start going out. What's gonna happen then? Are we going to maybe look at our benefits and think, uh-oh, 
you know, we got these monthly payments coming in. My my income is going way up. My resources are, you know, <laughs> expanding as my 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 accounts are, you know, getting jacked up a little bit. Kind of fun, right? To see your account balance go up a little bit here and there. But do we need to be concerned about that? Again, very good questions. Let me talk you through this. So, I just want to make it very clear. We do not have any exact information out of the IRS or Social Security Administration. We do not have any announcements regarding this. However, this is my anticipation based on what we've seen through the history of the last three stimulus checks. I would anticipate if we get monthly payments, it's gonna be the exact same situation as the last three. It's not income, it's not resources, and it's not taxable for everybody receiving these benefits and realistically, for, all, for everybody else who receives the benefits, it doesn't matter if you get um, all these benefits I've been talking about, Social Security, SSDI, SSI, or anybody else who doesn't receive them. That's gonna be the same situation because once again, it's going to be a refundable tax credit, which is what will likely show up on the tax return. Make sense? So that would be my anticipation on the monthly stimulus checks if they're actually approved. It's literally just a stipend right out of the IRS with no strings attached right? NSA, no strings attached, get it? <laughs> yeah. So no strings attached money right out of the, right out of the IRS. I, I would anticipate that's the exact same thing. Now, again, when it comes to the resource limits for those of you like receiving SSI, for example, you have resource limits, right? They look at your accounts and they say, Hey, you can only have blank dollars in your, in your accounts. Or if you're receiving like snap benefits, right? Um, food assistance, they look at your accounts and say, hey, you can only have X dollars in your possession, otherwise you're above the resource limit and then we need to reduce your benefits accordingly or if you have too much, they might even potentially even cancel your benefits, right? Scary, because we know that the monthly stimulus checks would probably be short term. They would, they would likely go for some specified period of time, 12 months or whatever they happen to negotiate out, and then they would likely be stopping at some point in the future once we work our way out of this current situation that we're in. However, what would you fall back on then if your benefits are canceled? Yeah, good question, which is why I'm saying I honestly don't think it would have any impact on your monthly benefits unless for some reason you're banking, <laughs> you're banking all of these monthly payments and all of a sudden at the end of the year, you're riding high with you know 20 grand in your account or something, and then they say, hey, hey now, you were supposed to spend that, and you actually didn't, you know what I mean? So then your resources are potentially way too high after the 12 month period. Again, this is just based on what I'm finding as far as kind of looking back at the last three stimulus checks and saying, okay, here are the parameters uh, that they wrapped around these other stimulus checks. This is what we could potentially anticipate with recurring monthly stimulus checks as well, right? Get what I'm saying? So I guess the moral of the story is if we do happen to get monthly stimulus checks, um, the, the name of the game really would be to spend them. I mean, seriously, that is why they would be doing it. They'd be giving them out to not only help the people, like help all the American people through this time with all of the expenses and buying the necessities, the basics of life, but also one of the main reasons behind monthly stimulus checks is to really stimulate the economy, really get this thing pumped up and literally just like really jacked and going fast, right? So the whole name of the game would be, you know, maybe pay down some debts, pay some bills, maybe buy all the necessities you could possibly ever want and need. Maybe you need new clothes, new shoes, buy it all, right? I mean, seriously, that's what it would be for. But again, um, I think most importantly would be covering all the necessities that you actually really need before going out and buying the things that you maybe don't need so much, right? Like cover all like the food items, the pantry items, the, the clothing, necessities, the bedding, you know what I mean? Like all of the necessities first and then if you have some left after word and you need to spend it because you know you might be over the resource limit that, at that point, it might be time to go out and be like, hey, what else do I want, but I haven't been able to afford maybe over the last few months, let's treat myself to something fun. Do you know what I mean? But again, just me being conservative as I am uh, from a financial standpoint, I feel like cover the basics first and then if there's anything left at the end, then feel free, maybe treat yourself. But we would have to um, you know, really figure that out literally in probably like a year from now. The reason I say a year is because most likely 
they wouldn't take any of this money, these stimulus checks, the monthly payments, into account for uh, for resources until about 12 months out. Well, at that point, we would need to re-examine your situation and say, hey, if you're sitting on 10 grand or something and you're only allowed 2,000, you know, you might need to grab yourself something at that point. You know what I'm saying? So either way, I just want to make it very clear. We don't have any of this evidence at all from the IRS or Social Security. This is just kind of my speculation based on what we've seen from the last three stimulus checks. And I wanted to reach out and help all of you through this time because many of you have been asking me, hey, how's this whole monthly payment thing going to shake out? I'm kind of scared. At the same time, <laughs> I'm secretly really excited for monthly payments. You know what I mean? So that's how we'd have to do that. And I just want to make it very clear too. I'm not giving you financial advice. Never. I'm not giving you financial advice. Um, I don't know your exact situation, so I can't give you financial advice. I'm not um, telling you what to do. You know, obviously not accounting or tax advice, anything like that. And all of this like I said, is not confirmed. We would have to see what the official announcements are right out of the IRS and especially the Social Security Administration because that's who administers Social Security and SSI benefits, right? So we would have to wait for an official statement out of them once monthly recurring stimulus checks are actually approved and getting ready to go out the door. At that point, then we'll need to do our due diligence and figure out, okay, what are we really working with here and how much of this do we need to like actually get off of our books within the time period that they've allowed us to make what makes sense so if slash when this actually happens of course i'll be back and i'll continue to be right here for you walking you through this situation either way i hope this helps you out and for those of you who have had a lot of concern about this again i hope this kind of uh gives you a little bit of relief and some stress off of your shoulders and just kind of lets you know, like, you know, at this point, there's really nothing to worry about for the most part. And then when we get more information, of course, I'll be right here as, yep, you called it, your daily advocate, walking you through all of this. Thank you, everybody. You're awesome. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video if you haven't done so. And share this video or any others of my over 1,000 videos right here on the channel with your friends, family, and social media. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next